OK, once you've prepared your sample and are ready to do a DSC run, uh, this is how you would set it up on Link. Firstly, you will want to go to the Controller tab and select Connect. This will bring up your uh, ramps and some DSC information over here, such as temperature. You also want to connect the camera. So on the Camera tab, you want to go on Show. Once that is connected, you also want to connect uh, the reflected light source. So on Controller, Illumination, and Connect, that will bring up the RLS 20, which you can adjust the LED intensity from 0 to 100%. Uh, and once you have a good view of your sample, you want to just keep that there. On this uh, camera tab over here, you want to make sure that the auto is deselected. This way, it will stop the image from changing during a run, which would affect your task results. Once you have, once you're happy with your sample and are happy with the focus, you can then proceed to add the notes. Uh, it's imperative that you have the mass of your DSC sample and crucibles. Um, this will help give the millijoules values and not just leave your DSC results in counts. So you want the mass of the sample, which we've weighed to be 15 milligrams the mass of the sample crucible, which we've also weighed to be 15 milligrams, and the mass of the reference. This should be zero because your reference will be empty, and the mass of the reference crucible, which is also, again, 15 milligrams. You've also got a couple boxes here to write down what your sample is and a few other notes that you may wish to. So we've got a PET sample uh, run one. Once you're ready, you can then set up the ramp speeds and hold times. Uh, it is very important to know that the first ramp, ramp 1, will not record. It will not record on the image capture delay, and it will not record on the DSC graph. This is because our desired temperature range for this sample will be, for example, let's say from 150 to 210. So the first ramp will only take you to your desired, to the start of your desired temperature range, and that's when it will start recording. So your recorded data will be from ramp two, and three and four and so on. And once you've got your parameters set up for the rate, limit, hold time, and the image capture delay, you're ready to do your run. All you need to do now is press the play button here and await your DSC results. Thank you.